What does this butterfly migration have in common with U.S. currency? You'd be surprised. This is where the monarch's life cycle starts. Inside this egg is a blueprint that will eventually become a butterfly. This is where U.S. currency's life cycle starts, at the Treasury's Bureau of Engraving and Printing. Every last detail is designed, along with all of its special features. Monarchs lay millions of eggs, and they're all about to hatch. You can almost anticipate how many caterpillars there will be. Each year, the Federal Reserve anticipates how much money people will need and orders it from the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. From a tiny egg, a caterpillar goes through a complicated process to become a monarch butterfly. U.S. currency also goes through a complicated process to reach its final form. When the Federal Reserve declares that it's official money, then it's ready to circulate. Monarchs migrate long distances and visit many places along the way. U.S. currency travels from places where they print to banks of the Federal Reserve. They then circulate to other banks, where people get their money. And the journey continues. The life cycle of nature is full of surprises. And so is the life cycle of U.S. currency.